What's up ladies and gentlemen, Spade here and welcome back to the episode of Tales of Azalea. It's been about 10 minutes since the last episode. And we're continuing where we left off. It's still July 29th. And the time right now is 8.44 a.m. That's it, let's just continue and see what they're talking about. Daddy, we're having a long-armed crab hot pot party when you come home tonight. As the world gets colder, the long-armed crab's habitat expands. Do your best out there today. If the crabs breed too quickly, it will affect the fish. Hey, that guy is... Daddy? You're acting weird. Oh, sorry about that. My mind just wandered away from me there for a second. If you do that on your boat, you'll fall into the sea. Yeah, that's right. I'll be careful. Good luck out there. That boy's father, he was acting strangely. The suppression is starting to affect people out here, too. Seems that way. And I have to listen to this again. Finally, something new. Oh, finally, we got that last thing. I do have everything at this point. I have no idea. No, we do not. Show them how I freed Scrooge's sail. Oh, it's this guy we need to talk to. We opened our arms and welcomed that vagabond into our town. But despite our kindness, he robbed us, started fights, caused trouble. Then he stole a boat and escaped. But I was the one that let him go. I'm guilty too. We have to be strict with criminals. Rogues always seem to drift into hell of ease, don't they? Huh? Were we talking about something? Wait, did you forget what you just said? Yeah. I hope I didn't say anything strange. We were talking about how nice of a guy you were. Huh? Don't be so hard on yourself, okay? Huh? <laughs> Interesting. Are they going on the air? Yep. I see you're at it again. Am I that predictable? That stance. It's called nothingness, right? A clear state of mind and all that. <laughs> Does it look meditative or something? I wish it was, but really it's the exact opposite. It brings out all my negative thoughts. My hatred. My doubts. My ego. My anger. I take up my sword to cut myself free of such wrongful emotions. At least, that's what I used to think. But that's just not possible, is it? Not for anyone. Hell, even if I could let go of that part of myself, I'm not sure I'd want to. Because if you let go of your desire to kill Shigure, you'd lose your purpose in life? My spiteful thoughts, my wrongful feelings, my pride, my inner contradictions... All these are parts of who I am. Through practice, I learn to embrace who I am, the good and the bad, and become the swordsman only I can be. That's the only way I will achieve what cannot be done. Defeating Shigure. And Shigure. He's already at peace with his inner self. Exactly. And so are you. You really think so? I do. That's why I will never give up. Besides, I still need to repay my debt to you. Well, I look forward to seeing the final results, that's for sure. Same here. We 
We definitely have no skit in an inn in a while though. And that's just all. Hey, right, what are we running low on? Get that, I guess. And I guess that's it. Whoa. Freezing before. Now it goes straight to the bone. Allow me to warm. Not Nessa. Uh, uh, oh, the stasis are going around. Uh, so cold. If it's this bad here, I dread to think of what the Guyberg Ice Field is like. The tundra past Mount Killerhouse? Is it really that cold? I've stayed up in the mountains many times for my training. With all the snow, I imagine it'd be pretty rough for a normal human. Why are you sneezing all of a sudden? Demons aren't supposed to feel cold. Ah, a snowflake just flew up my nose and... Achoo! You're sneezing too. My hair was blowing around and it tickled my nose. But according to the old book I read, it isn't supposed to snow much around Guy Burke. Because of lava from the volcano and the Earth's natural heat. I bet the book calls it Guyberk Plains, too. Yeah, it says Mount Killerhouse was highly active, and the area used to be famous for its hot springs. But now it's... Uh... What? Why are you all staring? They're all expecting you to sneeze, I think. Everyone else is doing it! Now give us a good show! Ah... Ah, uh, 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 sorry everyone, no sneezes here. I'll practice really? for next time. Ah, oh, good grief. Yeah, uh, still an interesting crowd of everything. Hey, which direction do we need to go? <laughs> I have no idea. And so we need to go in this direction. And so we go in this way. I think, but have we ever really done much of anything here? I completely forget. Maybe, who knows. Have we been in here before? Maybe. <laughs> I have to assume yes, because chests are open. <laughs> Guess we'll go first of all. That pillar doesn't help you. Might as well grab that. And might as well open you up as well. A new area. It's only a bit further to the town of Mercio. And once we're past Mercio, we'll find our destiny on Mount Killaros. I know it's supposed to be cold here, but I didn't think it would be this cold. 
Reviving the elemental Empyreans is bound to alter this weather. Huh. I'm not sure how much warmer it'll get in the time we'll still be alive. Keep moving. The cold and the climb don't matter. We have to move forward. We can't stop until the elemental Empyreans have been revived. Probably easier said than done. This place actually looks really cool. I know we're playing a 3 game and all. But the snow and ice here does genuinely look 3D. In a weird, cool type of way. I can't quite describe it. Anyway, moving on. And we've got new enemies to try and fight. Might as well stop you. Always be on guard. Winter War Fight. I do a week to all fight. Are you next? Don't get careless! I'll stop you! Wall climb! Simplicit name, I think. Clear off! Clear off! Double haze! I'll stop you! I'll stop you! Is that a boat in the background? It's a boat! A boat frozen in the lake. That is amazing. It's actually right now. Why this is just me so much, I have no idea. And there's a cat spirit in it. On to battle. I have no idea how you'd even say that. Frozen all in all, basically. 52 week to all fight. To have the volume not turn it up. Cry out loud. Good enough. My ears are absolutely like, killing me. And there are more enemies here than I thought. Oh, we have a spectre. Alright. I think these are the last two in the zone. Hopefully that wall will show up. 
That does. Or guillotine level. <laughs> that was just a wall of pain, it's like guillotine. Level 50, alright. Are you next? Did you think you could escape me? Yeah, we're not fighting you, sorry. We already fought you. More money, alright. I knew I had to run something else here. I'm moving on. That door literally has eyes. Wow. Guess we have to go the long way around. And there's a chest down there. I just want to try and see if there's a like cat's box around here. I mean, I'm sorry, probably missed it already. Most likely. Maybe it was in that other area. I have no idea. How are there three more chests here? You'll be I guess we're fighting. <laughs> Since you guys are in the Switch up the party a little bit. Is there something behind you? Other than the cat spirits? No. Even more money, alright. Why the hell are you out here? More fishing, alright, so. Uh, At least gets a few first. King Crab, huh? And that's it, that's all we'll do. How are too much chess in this area? Expedition's back apparently. Scout ship set. Yeah, I have no idea what the other chest would be. Not a clue, moving on. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Is this Mercio? 
three days on watch with no sleep. I was ten freaking minutes uh. late. It's not like the mine is gonna fall apart. Hey, uh, sure, whatever. If you got business here, go on in. Yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> They'll pay for this. <laughs> Seems like he's been having fun. Not at all. Might as well save it. I'm surprised we're well over 100 hours at this point. Even though a decent amount of that was just for keeping the exploration going. Seriously, what the hell does that test be? I'm genuinely curious. Yeah, I genuinely don't know. Unless it's above us somehow. That might actually be it. Who knows? so many people lived up here on the northern edge of the world. This town was built around the mining of flamestone, which can only be found here on Mount Kilaraus. So if anything happens to the volcano, this town's screwed. So releasing the two souls here will surely destroy the town. Inhuman, aren't I? Curse me all you want. I have no right to. The Abbey has proven itself just as heartless. People living here must have the will to endure the cold to fight back against this pitiless environment. I'd rather have that strength than feel nothing in the face of my troubles and pain. Agreed. A life without feeling is a box of stupid. Yes, a vast container of... Uh, of stupid. Right. The question is, can we wake up all four elemental Empyreans with the souls Velvet has absorbed? If Inominat's revival and the Empyrean slumber are related, we should assume we need all four Empyreans to stop him. I think I'll only be able to wake two. There are only two souls left inside of me. Teresa's and Oscar's. Are you sure? Yes. I can tell. I don't know if two Empyreans will be enough to fight him. This is my responsibility. I offer my own soul- well, If we don't have enough, let's knock on Shigure's door. His soul would make a fine sacrifice. Old man Melky or two. His heart's as cold as a witch's teeth, but he's free of malevolence. You're truly ready to take on two leggets at once? I was born ready. It's not like they'll sit back and ignore us anyway. And with Artorius and Inominat all tied up with their suppression party, this is the perfect chance to take them out. <sighs> Acting with caution is... a box of stupid, I take it? <laughs> now you're catching on. All right. Leave it to me. So, I'm all nice stoked for the god waking, but what's the plan? The road to the volcano is on the other side of town. Let's start by taking a quick look around. That's the plan. Have you heard the rumors about the Lord of Calamity? No. What rumors? That deadly demon whose rampage began in Helothis. The Abbey finally got her. I heard that she bites anyone who meets her gaze, that she devours humans as a snack, and that she has the head of a wolf. I was terrified of what might happen if she showed up here. Now, I can finally rest easy, knowing that she's gone. Yeah, you wouldn't want to get bitten, that's for sure. I know. I'm so relieved. I don't want a demon to kill me. Definitely not. In fact, if you ever meet one, you should run. Fast. Interesting enough. Navi's saying that they've already got us. 
That's far from true. Mercio has been getting colder every year. We used to have a spring and summer, short though they were. Now we're the town of eternal winter. It sounds like a tough place to live. Still, flamestone is used for more than just heating. People all over the world need it, you know. That's why no matter how tough it gets, we keep on with our lives here, while holding pride in our work. No matter how cold it gets, this place is our home. The warmth inside our hearts can keep the chill away. This town really is warm then, in body and soul. Oh, I like the way you talk. Make sure to take a dip in our hot spring before you leave. Oh, here's a tip. The water is scalding hot, so put some snow in to lower the temperature. Snow in the tub, got it? So... What do you say? What a peaceful, serene place. You sure it isn't just the snow? Uh, I know. <laughs> pure and beautiful? Well, I think it's pretty too. But that doesn't guarantee the citizens will be. <sighs> Not you too, Aizen. Well, they're kind enough to let a shirker stand out in the cold for three days. He might have been up to no good. Every town has sunny spots and shadows. I'm well aware of that, but this discussion isn't leading anywhere. We'll know once we go see for ourselves. Just think of it like your old job. Investigate and find the truth. Yes, I believe I shall. Hmm. Really? Oh, you can't go that side. You have to walk on top, alright. And so what's over here? Nothing but cat spirits, alright. Fair enough. It was worth looking at least. Might as well grab them as well. Even more now. I still need to go back to the prison. The hell? <laughs> okay. And then we have this guy in the place we're going to. Now what's up here? Just a conversation. <laughs> Alright. And we have a nice little igloo. Gatekeeper, he wasn't mean to you, was he? He was pretty angry about being forced to watch the gate, but he let us pass through no problem. I know that being forced to be on watch for three days straight is excessively harsh, but still. He wandered here from another town one day. He barely ever does any work and has a habit of pilfering things. He skipped out on his duties in the flamestone mines, and while we were busy working, he was sneaking into our empty houses to steal things. So that's why you made him stand at the edge of the village. Yeah. We're bringing him food, of course. We told him that if he doesn't like it, he can leave. Still, 
Is he actually accomplishing anything out there? He may be bold enough to rob us, but he's a real coward. If a demon showed up, he'd shut the gates and come running. He doesn't have anywhere else to go, so we're hoping that eventually he'll realize the error of his ways. If you keep forcing him to stand out there in the cold, he might find another place to go. The afterlife. Maybe. Might as well save it again. Really, you have these. They're pretty expensive, if anything. How much would 15 be? That is way too much. We can only afford three. Oh, let's just get one. Really to have elixirs now. Way too expensive for anything. Eh, yeah, might as well. So I was just like having some food. Not much going on in here. Well, let's just move on. Seems that way. Oh, uh, that was quick. Thank you so much. How can we ever repay you? I have a message for the Abbey's Legates. 
On the next Scarlet Night, I will offer a sacrifice to Mount Killerhouse and strip Inominat of his power. I dare them to try and stop me! She just ate the demon with her arm! She's... I am corruption made flesh! Velvet, the Lord of Calamity! <laughs> this city is ours. Flee to the south, puny humans, while your tears stop the snow! The demon lord of Hurry, before our dark mistress sucks the marrow from your very bones! She lead us all! Run for it! <laughs> that was splendid. We should do this more often. It went well, except... Ow! What was that for? There will be no sucking of marrow. My sister taught me proper table manners. Oh, what a waste. The marrow's the tastiest part. <laughs> it kinda is. At least now the citizens of Mercio won't be swept up in our fight. They already are. We just tore their homes and livelihoods away. This wasn't for them. This was to summon the legates here. That's all. Even so, I thank you for what you've done, O oh fearsome Lord of Calamity. I'll pretend I didn't hear that, O oh exalted Praetor of the Abbey. A whole crowd of people were fleeing south. What happened? Benwick, why are you here? I had a delivery for the first mate. Kurogane and Kamoana are here too. You brought Kamoana? She absolutely insisted on following me. Poor kid said she had a dream that you died, Eleanor. Kamoana? How long do we have until Shigure and the others get here? Hmm. Given the distance, my guess is they won't show up until the Scarlet Night. Then I think I'll make use of that time. Kurogane wanted me for something, I take it? Aye, that's what he said. All right, then. Everyone go rest up. Good idea. We've got a battle to prepare for. This may be the last breather we get. As always, better make sure you leave no regrets. <sighs> v, anything could happen. Don't leave town. Can I... Can I stay with you, Velvet? I don't mind, but... You sure? Yeah. Do what you like, then. And we can see our northern lights, how it knows. Ella does a chest in town. And we scale off almost everyone. At this point. A nice snowman. Hmm. Oh wait, this is our crew. Right. Forgot about that part. Anyone inside the room? Yep. I might as well save it again. You never know what will happen. Writing another letter to your sister? Nope. This time she sent one to him. Man, she hardly ever writes back. 
Hope this ain't a bad omen. Shut it. Aizen, that's great news. I told her about all of you in my last letter. Seems she was amused. Says you sound appropriate for me, and she'd love to meet you. Weird sister you've got. You don't know the half of it. <laughs> a girl weird enough to want to live alongside the Reaper, no matter the cost. I'd love to meet her, too. I'll warn you. Touch my sister and I'll kill you. Right? Sheesh, you say that to every guy you meet. Awfully protective. Nah, just obsessed. That's even worse. We'll all go meet her together someday. I like your confidence. Yeah, I man the wheel of my own ship. I, as do I, and all of you. And even her. Hmm. That was nice of her to respond. Finally. One question is what are we here now? Bellows one there and one there. We have two places we can go, it seems. But they all cross as well, the others. Oh, Griffin's in here. And go more. I haven't seen Griffin in a while. I definitely can't remember the last time I've seen him. I still see where are the others. Let's go then. I will not go the right way. Good. What? Oh, it's just a sparkle. Didn't know it was that fast. I barely really go the right way. I can't find anyone else. So I might as well go over here. And it's rock hard. What's that sound? It's Kurogami. He must be forging another sword. He certainly is. The old fellow's forging himself into a blade. He's turning himself into a sword? He can do that? Is that possible? Who knows? Either way, it's what he decided to do. We had one last drink together. You'd go that far to defeat Shigure and Stormhowl? I would. I'll turn a friend into a sword to kill my own brother. I'm a jerk. I'm in no position to judge. I think you are. Whatever you may look like, you're human. You hate because you love. 
and feel as much hurt as you do anger. That's human. <laughs> Kurogane is with me. He agreed to it. What our blacksmith friend feels towards Stormhowl is more than resentment. It's admiration, too. That's why he wanted to do it. He wanted to put everything he had into one final clash. Shigure is the same. He has that very human strength to take the good along with the bad and just keep pushing ahead. A strength that I, as a demon, can never match. Brooding doesn't suit you, Roguro. You wanted to be a swordsman greater than any other. That's why you fought and bled to perfect your skills. That's the sort of man you are. <sighs> yep. That's who I am. I like that part of you, Rogoro. Me too. Thanks. So Kyoga is tying himself into a soul heart. I guess next up we're just leaving town. Yeah, that's why I feel like just calling it an episode. Can say we're going towards 50 minutes. I didn't know it was the store here. <laughs> it's okay, you can go there. Yet. Yes, yeah, so I guess till next time. Stay golden.